Hi everyone, welcome back. We are ready to try another really fun water experiment. Did you know that water can make music? It's true and I'm gonna show you how. Now, you have to remember to make a sound or make music, something has to make the air vibrate. So sometimes in some instruments you blow into them and that makes the air vibrate and it comes out as a sound. Sometimes, um, like if you have a violin and the strings vibrate and it makes the air vibrate inside the violin and that makes a sound. Or sometimes like with drums or xylophones or even with a piano, you uh, something is hit and that makes it vibrate. It makes the sound like this glass. You can hear the sound, right? That's the uh, glass vibrating and making the air inside the glass vibrate. That's what makes it kind of resonate or ring. So see if you can hear the difference if I let it vibrate or if I stop it right away. Oops, it didn't sound. Right, because when I'm stopping it from vibrating or shaking, then it makes the sound stop. Those of you who were at school the day that Miss Calla came and brought her guitar, maybe you remember this. She talked about it with her guitar. Can you hear the difference? Now, I can change how much air is vibrating by adding some water to the glass. So watch this. I'm going to turn this a little bit. We're going to add some water to the glass. Now it sounds a lot different, doesn't it? So I changed the sound of the glass by changing how much air was vibrating. Now, I took all these six glasses that are exactly the same and I filled them up all with different amounts of water. This one over here doesn't have any water. And this one over here has a lot of water. It's almost filled to the top. Do they sound different? Now, I'm gonna play all of them. See if you can hear how different they sound. Wow, isn't that cool? So I can play a whole song on my glasses filled up with water. Can you see the water lines on them? So you can see they're all a little bit different amount of water. It's a little hard to see the ones on the ends. This one is almost all the way full. This one is empty on this end. So here we go. Okay, so you can play a whole song just on glasses filled with water. I've got one more for you. Okay, so hopefully that gives you some good ideas how you can play music with water. Now remember, don't get all the glasses out of your cupboard unless your mom says it's okay. You'll probably need a mom or dad to help you with this. But try adding different amounts of water to the glasses and see if you can get a different sound. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.